Hey everyone, I'm here with Ari today. We are doing some uh, male portraits. Uh, we're going to start off with a, um, a nice classic suit look portrait that we're just going to build. What we're doing with this video is I actually haven't done any test shoots yet. We're going to build this, the lighting and the look of it as we go along. So you get to see a lot of the tethered shots as we're doing the test shots. Um, I'll explain all the lights we're using and why we're using them as we set them up. But, um, but for this, um, at the moment, no lights been set up. I do have a softbox with a grid um, ready to go. I have a beauty dish ready to go with or without a grid. I have a strip box that I have ready to go with and without a grid as well. Uh, we've got some um, reflectors as well. So we'll play around with the background a little bit. We'll play around with the actual lighting on Ari as well. But um, the idea is just to do a nice sort of nice dramatic light as well. We're going to add a bit of darkness and a bit of dynamics to it. So um, let's start, um, get some light set up and um, let's see what we end up with. So we're going to set this up as a bit of a key light. Um, we are going to be shooting from um, the right hand side um, or Ari's right hand side. Um, and the key light's basically going to light him up from this side. And then we're going to use a bit of fill from the other side. Now, this is going to be a very um, quite a generic look, but I might actually swap it around where we have the beauty dish as the key light and we'll use the softbox as the um, as the fill light just to fill in some shadows. Um, at this stage we are going to keep the background quite dark so um, using the inverse square law we are going to move everything forward a little bit and um, and we'll get the, get the ball rolling there. So what I'm going to get you to do is just come forward to about here-ish. Brilliant. Get that set up. So for this shoot, uh, we are going to be shooting at 100 ISO just to um, keep a nice clean image. Uh, 160 shutter speed because that's my sync speed because I want to keep everything as um, all the light in the picture is going to be light that I introduce. And we're going to shoot at f8 because why not? So um, so at, I'm going to try and meter this light to, um, to those settings and then we are going to take a test shot. So we've got this now, um, we're down at f8, which is perfect. So let's do a test shot. Um, this is only one light so far. So um, we're just going to do a test shot to see what this light's doing, but there will be other lights being introduced into this shot. So let's put that down. So it can sway for me. All right. So first thing we need to fix is our white balance. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a picture of the color checker. Um, with the color checker, you can get that done anytime um, during the shoot. I tend to try and get that as the very first shot just because I know I'll forget at a later stage. Um, so the thing with the color checker though is we're going to wait until all the lights are in place and that's going to be our first shot with the color checker. But make sure you um, keep that handy so you remember to do it as your first shot. There's nothing worse than getting home at the end of the day, going through your shoot and then realizing you haven't got a picture of your color checker and that by that stage it's too late. All right, first thing I'm gonna get you to do, so get you to turn towards that light, that's it. Um, head will be to me and then sort of pretend like you're fixing, yeah, that's it. Classic portrait eyes to me. So looking at the first shot, the, um, the exposure on Ari looks really, really good. But obviously the, being a dark suit and the, um, and the darker hair is really blending in um, 
with the background. So what we're going to do is going to add a, a highlight just to add a bit of separation. The highlight's going to come from the opposite direction to the to the key light, and um, and I will most likely use a strip box for that just to give it a nice um, highlight on the arm as well as the, the neck and the head. So let's um, let's get that set up and see how that looks. So what we are going to, what we need to try and do is um, with the hair light, I personally find two stops under from the key light works really, really well. So I'm going to uh, meter that in um, as a starting point and then we'll, um, we'll see whether we like it, whether it needs to go up or down. So let's start with, um, with that. So that's at F2, which needs to go up significantly. Six, almost there. Cool. So that's at F4. So F4 to F8 is two stops, which is what we want. So let's do another quick test. Another brilliant one, two. Light. We've got too much light on the face, so we're just going to feather that out a bit more. Okay, try that again. Really going to And that's looking really, really good. You can see um, the, the highlights on the, on the face there is really nice. I'm actually going to bring that light down a third of a drop. more. I've turned it down and I've feathered it, but I should have just left it as it turned down. Do the classic, you know, doing your, your cuffs and um, hand in the pocket kind of a thing. And, yeah. and I'll, what I'll do is I'll direct you a little bit with some shots looking to me, some shots looking up to the side. Um, for all of those though, I need you to sort of be facing this way. That's it, that's it, that's it. Um, yeah, perfect. Um, and then with the feet, just sort of just relax them a little. Like that's it, cool, perfect. Um, all right, let's just have a quick look at that. Can I get you to do up the bottom button of your jacket? Oh, the top one, sorry, the top one, okay. Jacket, yeah. Sorry, the jacket. No, 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 jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, just like that. One, two. Turn your head to me just a little bit. Too far, come back a little. That's it. Chin up ever so slightly. That's it. One, two. All right. So, we've just taken two shots. We haven't done a color checker. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the color checker shot because I know that we're going to forget later on. Have you used one of these before? Yeah, it's totally right. Yep, cool. And don't cover up any of the squares you have with your fingers. Cool. We'll do a color checker. Brilliant. Thank you. 
All right, so let's just go back to some posing, that's it. Yeah, brilliant. One, two, okay. Excellent. Yep, perfect. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Yep. Brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah, that's it, perfect. Uh, with that, hang on, hang on, put your hand in your pocket again. I just need to bring that. Yeah, beautiful. Yep. Excellent. We're going to do three more. Cool. Fix up your cuffs for your for the upper. Hands, hands down, no, a little. That's it. Hands down a little. That's it. Up a little bit. Up. That's it. One, two. Turn your head to me a little more. That's it. She look across the way you work. Yeah. Chin up a little. Sorry. Turn your head. Bring your head to me a little. That's it. That's it. That's it. Center your eyes with your, yeah, so turn your head this way, that's it, and center your eyes with your head. So, so where your nose is pointing, that's where I want your eyes to point. Brilliant. All right. So that basically series is done with just two lights. Um, what I want to show you is, so we've got, the, the main light is a large softbox. That's a two foot by three foot softbox uh, with a grid. The grid just um, brings the light in and make, gives us a bit more drama and contrast. Um, it stops the light from spreading essentially, so it keeps the light off the background as well. Um, and this is running off the Einstein light. It really makes no difference what light you have. It's the size of the softbox and the grid is what you, what you really need. Um, and the light is actually feathered. So we've got Ari standing here, but the, the softbox is pointing straight across there and that gives us that really nice feathered look. Now, if we spin around, um, what we have here is the second light. It's just the strip box. Um, again, the strip box is just has a grid on it, um, and that's giving us that really nice separation light. Again, if you have a look where Ari's standing to where, to where the light is pointing, the light is all by pointing straight past him, and that's because we're just getting that gradated, uh, the feathered, sorry, we're just getting that feathered uh, light to coming straight across. If this was pointing straight at him, we, it would just be way too sharp and way too bright um, and it wouldn't look good at all. So all this, and again, the grid is there just to keep the light off the background for us, just to give it a nice dark background. So two lights and we've got a, um, we've got a perfect start, perfect portraits. All right, so there you have it. So this is our, um, that was our shoot with Ari with, um, with a really cool suit portrait look. As you've seen, we've got some great color shots, some black and white shots. Everything's done with two lights. Even the, um, the photos where we have the light gray background and the black background, all that is done with just two lights. The only difference there is, as you know, the inverse square law, the um, bringing the lights in closer will make the background a lot darker. We take the lights further away, it makes it lighter. Um, as I've mentioned in my inverse square law video though, the closer you bring your lights into your subject, the, um, the less freedom of movement they get because as they move, they will affect your exposure quite a lot, a lot more than when the lights are further away, again, because of the inverse square law. So just be mindful of that uh, when you're doing your posing and your shooting and you're using this technique. But hopefully you enjoyed this. Given the lighting that we have, I don't really see a lot of editing required to get these um, images looking absolutely perfect. So hopefully you enjoyed that and see you at the next one.